Oh my god, what's that? Oh my, oh. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, can it be? Yes! Manfrotto B3 Advanced Tripod out of this world! Yes! Hi there and welcome to Simon Anderson Photography and can you believe it I've won myself a Manfrotto B3 advanced tripod um, in conjunction with Park Cameras and Manfrotto they're not sponsoring this by the way um, but I went and collected this uh, new tripod uh, the other day and I thought I'd uh, unbox it with you guys and then perhaps do a comparison with uh, my Manfrotto B3 1 which I've got here next to me so uh, yeah, I'll put links in the description for Park Cameras and Manfrotto so you can check their websites out. But um, let's get to it. So here's the unboxing. Now that's done. Let's see what's inside. So it comes in a nice carry case, the same as the B31, uh, the aluminium. Uh, like I say, this is the Advance. There's a the Manfrotto logo there. A nice red sort of edging as well. Uh, it comes in a nice case with a carry handle as well so you can put it over your shoulder if you want to do that let's uh, unzip this and uh, have a look inside uh, got the instructions with a uh, I'm not sure if that's a spare plate yet so there's a spare plate with some allen keys in there so check that out in a minute oh look what's this oh I've got a, a note looks like it's from Manfrotto dear Simon Please accept this Manfrotto B3 Advanced Tripod for being the best photographer in the world. No, not the world, the universe. All of our love, Manfrotto. Kiss, 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 love heart. Well, that's nice. Dad? Yeah? Where's that letter you asked me to write from Manfrotto? I haven't finished it yet. Right, let's move on. Let's move on for that. So, uh, yeah, so let's just take this out there, carry case. These are part of their travel collection and uh, one thing I've noticed is it is slightly heavier than the B31 but then we're going to the reason why in a minute but it's still you can see how small that is as well so it's got three legs which fold down like that and you're already set up and that's that that's so done. here we go we've got the Manfrotto B3 Advanced Nice looking uh, tripod, it uh, comes in black and silver, looks very sleek, very modern. Um, it's got loads of uh, different uh, upgrades compared to my B3 one, which I'll show you in a minute, which I will compare both. Um, so when you take it out of the case, uh, it's got the three legs, uh, it folds out straight away to just a normal standard uh, position, but you can, it's got a different locking leg mechanism to my B3 one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, this, so you move the leg inwards, then you got you can pull the lock down, and then you can move it to whatever angle you want. And uh, when you push it back, it clicks into each section and holds it in place. So that's that's really good. That's really straightforward and easy. I do like that. Um, so the legs, as you can see, can go quite wide there. So if you move the column up. and put the legs sort of in the flat position or the horizontal position I'm trying to show you quickly you can put it sort of flat on the floor I'm not sure if that's much shorter than the actual position with the legs in so I don't know if you'd need to do that but the option is there so let's put the column back down Saying that, yeah, that would be a bit short. I'm sure it'd come up to about there. So you're probably knocking about another 10 centimeters off there if you really wanted to. Uh, it's a four section tripod. Um, I had a choice of the, um, the screw um, mechanism or the lever mechanism. Um, I'm not very fan of the, the screw uh, tripods. I've got one already and it's just, uh, I find it a bit of a nightmare, not knowing if it's fully tightened and stuff like that. With this one, you just, uh, 
pull the lever, the leg comes out and you lock it in place and it's really quick, easy and simple as well. So it's got the new ball head compared to the B3 one. So I think one is a friction as well. So it's like the, it's a more advanced, uh, that's why it's called an advanced, it's advanced tripod. So it's got the advanced ball head as well. Um, so yeah, you've got friction control on that, which is a nice touch. So let's just put this there. Um, there's my B3 one, which my wife bought for me as a present. Um, I love this tripod. I took it to London when we went to the theatre and it actually fitted inside just a, a standard rucksack. I and mean, that's what I loved about it. So no one questioned it. It wasn't sitting on the outside where it was a problem knocking into people. Pull it into the rucksack. So small, it's light. Um, it's just got the one lever there for the ball head, but it's not a big deal. To, you know, the friction uh, doesn't seem to bother me on this sort of tripod. Uh, let's just go through a couple of the stats. Uh, between these two tripods is the Advance and the B3. I think it's the B3 one. Um, this is 1,590 grams. Uh, this one is 1,400 grams. I'm just going to put that there. This is 1,400 grams. So it's roughly about 200 or 190 grams difference. If, if you think that's uh, equivalent to a bar of chocolate, which as a photographer you should have in your pocket anyway. Um, both aluminium. Now a big difference here. This, uh, the one, can hold four kilograms and the advanced holds can hold up to eight kilogram of weight so you know if you've got a dslr with a bigger lens on there uh, it's going to keep it more stable and it's going to hold the weight that's a massive difference that's double the weight of the one uh, the minimum height is uh, 40 centimeters to 34 and as you can see the six centimeters difference there um, for me not a huge difference but i'm not sure if this would fit into a standard rucksack just that minor sort of extra headroom there um same, same consideration the maximum height is 151 centimeters and 144 centimeters and the maximum height will send the column down so that was with it up with the center column down so just the legs extended 128 centimeters and 123 centimeters um, the closed length is 40 centimeters each now the head type is ball head on both of them um, it's giving me some the diameter of the chair. I've done going that leg section, both four leg sections are similar in that department. And let's have a look here now. The uh, top attach attachment is quarter inch screw. Uh, let's have a look. Ball locking, yes. Uh, it's both come with um, a carry case. Uh, this one comes with a friction control. So, yeah, uh, let's have a look now. They both got quick re release plates. Now the other thing is the plate type, the difference of these. Uh, the plate type on the Advance is a 200PL Pro, which I think is part of their more advanced uh, professional equipment like the 055 and the 190 tripods. Uh, you know, some of the heads come with them, uh, have got the Pro plates. And this has got a 200LT PL plate as well. So basically, the differences are is just the, the ball head this got the friction this hasn't not a big deal the plates are different and just the, the height and the weight um, really uh, depending on what you're looking for so like I say you get the plate come in here I think it's equivalent to an Arca Swiss plate so uh, you know if you've really got Arca Swiss plates uh, part of your professional range it might be better you know to go for this one because you can swap the plates between your tripods and uh, yeah, and one thing I love about these is the, is the height of these tripods. These make great light stands as well. I'll put a speed light on these, and if you put in like product shots and you want it low down on the floor against the wall, because um, light stands are normally sort of more than waist height, these are really low down. I, I use all the time as light stands as well, so absolutely fantastic uh, tripod. So I'm really looking forward to trying out the advanced and seeing how I go with that. So uh, yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to uh, subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any questions uh, or any, anything, anything you want to say, just leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to come back and uh, see some future videos. So I'll see you soon. See you later.